What's up, YouTubers, Vinyl Community, Vinylocity friends? Just got back from our family vacation, 10 days up north, New, Hang New England uh, era, area, Boston, Massachusetts, and New Hampshire, all the way up to Montpelier and Burlington, Vermont. About 16 hours in the car, four hours of sleep. I'm gonna try to get my way through this video as quickly as possible, but I really am excited about some of the stuff that I found, and I'm hoping some of you guys will find some uh, find this video to be pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about the records that I got, as well as some of the experiences at the record stores, and talking about record stores that I uh, visited along the way. I'm gonna turn this down. Okay. First, uh, first things first, when I got up to New Hampshire uh, to visit my uh, wife's family, went to a guitar store and I walked into the guitar store and asked the folks, hey, do you guys have any records laying around? Because I saw one or two just kind of floating around in the music section. I said, yeah, we have a lot down in the basement, but I forgot, you know, I forgot about them. They're just down there in a big pile. And I basically begged them to let me go downstairs to their basement and go through them. And, uh, he took me down, and uh, I went through a stack, and it was just your standard junk. But then he was like, I, I set these ones aside to, to sell a long time ago, and forgot about them. So, I ended up buying pretty much all of them. So, a lot of things are, uh, came off my want list from, from the basement of this music store that didn't even really sell vinyl. Um, first band that I got, quite a few of uh, the records. I'm not really versed on them, but uh, I'm, I'm noticing that a lot of people from uh, the YouTube community uh, talk highly of this band, Kraftwerk. So, I'm not going to spend time opening them all up, I'm just going to show you. Man Machine, Trans Europe Express, these are all in pretty good shape. This one's called Computer World. I actually like this one. It is weird. Very, very, very weird. Same thing for this. Autobahn. Just finished listening to this one. Don't know if I'm going to keep a hold of those or not. A little out there for me. XTC's Black Sea. Got this one. Wasn't sure really what it is. Excited to give it a listen when I get time for it. Shake It Up by The Cars. Real good shape on this one. The Cars is just one of those bands that they don't really have a bad song. I just pretty much love everything I've ever heard. Repressing of The Clash, London Calling. Been on a big Joe Strummer kick lately, so this was pretty cool to finally get a hold of. Now we got into some stuff from my want list. Talking Heads, Remain in Light. Talking Heads, Speaking in Tongues. Real good shape on the sleeve on this one. The vinyls are all about very good plus condition. More songs about buildings and food. Little uh, name there in the middle of the USA. And then four of uh, one of my favorite bands. I'm a new wave guy. Uh, local fan favorite. So I'm excited to find Four first pressings in real good shape of Devo here. This one even had the uh, the seven inch that it was supposed to come with, still in its inner sleeves. So. And this th this is one of my all time favorite albums, and it's been at the top of my want list forever to get a first pressing of uh, Are We Not Men, who are Devo. In real good condition again. When I saw this, my stomach kind of just dropped. I basically was trying not to let my poker face uh, disappear so I uh, could remain cool about the situation. Then I went yard sailing after that, and so I got 
touchdown, Bob James, gatefold with the, the promo stamp. And Queen, News of the World, News of the World. Got these for two dollars a piece at yard sales. That's it for that. Then we took a day trip to my favorite city that I've ever been to, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. It's gorgeous, it's right on the water, it's young, there's bars, there's pubs, there's breweries, there's theaters, uh, Bella Fleck just had played there not too long ago, just the restaurants, it's just amazing. And it's not too big, not too small, it's, it's w where I want to be. They have a one record shop in the whole town, it's called the Bull Moose Record Store. It's kind of the middle of the road as far as... Um, where I, on the trip, it, it wasn't the worst, it wasn't the best, it had a decent selection of new stuff, the prices were the best that I ran into, so Bull Moose Records, if you want a good deal on new releases, their, their uh, used section was pretty, pretty, pretty lame, to be honest, um, and the prices were just crazy, everything was either 10, 12, or 18, and there was like hardly any discrepancy as to why it was 10. When you look at you know one after the other and 10 10 10 was, did they really do the research is it really 10 or is that just what you put whatever so i didn't get any used from them I, but i did get some things from my want list that i never thought i was going to run into in a store days to confused record store day release from last year hand uh hand numbered on the beautiful green vinyl i'll whip this one out just because it's it's pretty for those folks who haven't had the privilege of, uh, of taking a peek at it. I think they call it weed colored vinyl. It's my second favorite soundtrack of all time and I'm stoked beyond belief that this was actually in a store. Just patient. Be patient with me here, I'm trying to be careful. It's a tight fit. That's what she said. Next, I finally picked up a good copy, the two uh, two XLP of uh, Transatlanticism, my favorite Death Cab for Cutie record. It uh, basically defined much of my early early twenties. It really did. It very very uh, rarely left left um, the front of my CD player so my wife actually went vinyl shopping with me at all these stores and she bought her very first record her favorite band Dispatch it's the new release we just got home and it is not even opened yet so that is all I got there so Bull Moose Records in Portsmouth New Hampshire we took a day trip to Boston Boston forget about it my wife hates when I do that we had a five-mile walk from where we had parked to uh, to Newberry Comics on Newberry Street, thanks to the recommendation of some of you fine folks, the uh, YouTube vinyl community. Um, check that place out, and it was amazing. Coolest store. The people that work there are super nice and super friendly. I would say that they're not super informed. Um, uh, but that's kind of a good thing, because we went to some places where I thought people were kind of arrogant. So um, it was kind of nice to, to have somebody willing to help me and to actually have to go and look up answers instead of just thinking they knew everything. So nothing wrong with that. Very nice store, lots of new stock. Um, I only picked up a few things because like I said, we had a five mile walk and I had a six year old with me and I did not want to carry 180, 180 grams times, you know, however many. But I did get some things off of my want list that I, yet again I never thought I would get in a store, especially right where I'm from. So, first thing I got was a copy of the XX. This is uh, just a, a single, the Jamie XX edits. Got it uh, on clearance, $6.99. Big fan of this band. Then I got two record store day releases that I shocked that I got for sticker price, not internet prices. So here we go. Death Cab for Cutie, the orchestra edition from Record Store Day. Just sitting there on the shelf like it wasn't a hundred dollar record on the internet. I got it for 30 bucks. Same thing for this one. I got it for 23. I got this for my son. 
who was uh, in the store with me, lasted a full hour and was well behaved and helped me find some stuff. So I surprised him and got him this. It's one of his favorite films. And we listen to the soundtrack in my car frequently. So that is what I got in Boston. Moving on from Boston, we went to stay with uh, friends and family in Montpelier, Vermont. They have a record store there called The Bush Spieler, locally owned and operated. Uh, half of the store is, a, is a, uh, a record store and a music CD store, and the other half of the store is a um, specialty clothing store. So, And uh, my wife is friends with the person who runs the specialty clothing store. So we spent a good deal of time in there. I only bought one record uh, from there this year because I've already <laughs> spent so much money. Um, this was on my want list as well. Plants and Animals, the end of that. Indie rock kind of stuff. Um, got it for $10 in the used bin. It barely looks like it's been touched. It's still in the shrink. Just uh, open on the side. So that was, that was cool. The store um, has a decent new stock. It had better jazz uh, section than, than most places that I, been, uh, that I went to. Um, really small, not a lot of selection. But um, the people that work there are just super duper people, top notch uh, human beings, and they're willing to help and to just carry on conversation. And um, the store itself is very inviting and bright, uh, much like the city itself. So, okay, okay. Then we took a drive up to Burlington, Vermont. There is four or five record stores in, in the city of Burlington because it's a college town. We chose uh, the one that had the highest reviews, called Pure Pop Records. Um, it's on a Winooski, Winooski Street in uh, Burlington, Vermont. And um, it's kind of one of those basement stores where you get down, you have an awning, and you get down to the basement, and there's a store. It was dark. Um, I'm, I, I refuse to really talk bad about this place, but... Um, the two clerks were kind of off-putting a, a little bit. I, I don't know. I tried to be friendly and talk, and, 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 and they were pretty much doing their own thing in their own little world. And, you know, it's not their job to, 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 to have a conversation with their customers, I guess. But it would be, um, I don't know. I was from out of town. I, you know, I, I was interested in the store, and I uh, didn't really get much out of them. Uh, again, great new releases, decent um Use stock. It's a good store if you just want to be left alone and go in and uh, shop in a poorly lit basement. And uh, the music that they chose to play while we were there kind of pissed me off. I had my six-year-old with me, and they were playing screaming death metal with bad language. And, I, and again, I realized, but we were the only people in the store. If you don't have enough common sense to, you know, not everybody lets their children uh, go around listening to things like that. And uh, it, it, I just found it to be kind of disrespectful to the customer base to have it. And it was extremely loud to where I could barely hear myself. So, But that's the last I'm going to say negative about it. Because they had a really good stock and, and, and um, I, I wish them nothing but the best, I guess. So, And the only thing that I picked up there is what you're hearing now. Again, from my want list, Rack and Tours, Broken Boy Soldier. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Great work by uh, uh, Third Man Records on the, on this one. Um, the vinyl itself was filthy. It had some glue and just paper all over it, and just no, oh, it was not the nicest looking thing that I pulled it out. I almost took it back, but uh, I, I brought it home, triple spin cleaned it, scrubbed off as much of the crap as I could, and and uh, it's sounding pretty good. This is my first spin through, so. But it, it's a great record. All right, one more store. Uh, we went to a town called Barrie in Vermont. It's about 10 minutes from Montpelier. Um, cool little town, kind of sleepy, just a typical middle America kind of place. Much, much like Montpelier, except for there's more, um, I guess a little bit more people. Um, but it was the best shop that not only the best shop on this trip but the best shop shopping experience that I've had at a record store ever um, the husband and uh, wife couple that run Exile on Main in Barrie, Vermont um, 
we walked in and they were instantly smiling at us and greeting us and asking us how we were. They even uh, asked what I was looking for. They even gave my, my six-year-old son a slice of pizza from their own lunch. Just asked if he could have a slice of pizza and they gave him a chair and uh, basically for a way to, to let me be able to shop. And um, they stayed right there with us when we needed them and um, left us alone when we wanted time to shop. And, and um, basically it was the best shopping experience. So if you ever are, are up in Vermont, check out Exile on Main. Uh, check them out online if, if they have, uh, uh, just do a Google search for them. And uh, I know that they do some stuff on eBay to for supplement. Support these people because they, they deserve it. Great customer service. Anyways, I picked up quite a few things there. One holy shit thing that I didn't think I was going to find um, in a store. Same, Basically the same feeling I've gotten on most of this trip. Uh, I'll save that for the end. They had a $2 section for stuff that was either uh, old stock or stuff that maybe had one little defect either on the cover or on the vinyl. Um, but uh, I've pretty much... Uh, decided that these are way better than two dollars worth each. I got a day brew back. We're all together again for the first time. This wasn't even listed on Discogs. I realized it's because it was a Japanese pressing, so I just had to go on there and uh, create the create the Discogs page for it. Japanese pressing. It features Paul Desmond, Jack Six. Uh, is it, it's either Jerry Mulligan or Gary. Not great with names, but I, I'm so stoked to have this. I cannot wait to give it a listen. Bob Dylan. It's the the variant with um, "She's No Good." It says "You're No Good" here on the back, and then it says "She's No Good" on the record. It's uh, the stereo um, one eye pressing. So I, I believe it's the third third pressing. Uh, a reissue of Derek and the Dominoes. Layla and other love songs. Finally got that. A repressing of John Lennon's Rock and Roll. Just gorgeous. This shouldn't have been in the two dollar bin. There's not a, there's not a scratch. There's not. A, it, there's. I mean, this, even the sleeve is, is in great shape. I, I don't get it. Didn't mind. Vanilla Fudge near the beginning. It's a band that I've been getting into lately. I, I, I like to put them on and just and just get to work. Another one of those weird bands. All right, and the last thing that I got there was, whoa! I'll just show you. DMB Live Tracks Volume Three from uh, I believe Record Store Day in the Winter uh, last year. There's four records in there. I'm not gonna pull them all out, but they all have um, really nice artwork, outer sleeves as well as as well as the audiophile inner sleeves and just look at that vinyl just it's freaking gorgeous I'm gonna turn the lamp on here that's not really helping too much anyway it's one of the prettiest records I've ever seen I've, I haven't listened to it yet but again this you know I check on eBay and check on Discogs and it's looking like it's way out of my league and then to, to find it just sitting there she she pointed it out to me on a whim just because we were talking about record store day stuff she was shocked that it was still sitting there for so long and I instantly grabbed it I was like it's not sitting there anymore it's mine uh, $67 um, perfect it's just one of my one of my favorite toys that I'll ever have. I think uh, it's number seven eleven. I don't know if you can try to pick that up. Number seven eleven out of a thousand. Then when I got home this morning, sixteen hours of driving through half of it through hurricane rains. Uh, the tail end of it anyway, not the winds as much as just pouring rain. <laughs> came home, got some mail. The last two things I'm going to show you came in the mail. The Dave Brubeck Quartet. Digitally remastered directly from the original analog tapes. I got this from a guy who is from Portland, Maine. 
which we were also in up there while we were in town. Um, had this shit from eBay. I won this auction for 99 cents. I guess the, the right time of year. But uh, it's near mint. Just gorgeous. And honestly, it, it's... I'm really, I'm just really excited to spend. I don't, I'm not even going to have to clean this, so that guy's going to get good reviews uh, when I sit down at my computer here later on. And last but not least, finally, copy of August and Everything After by the Counting Crows, the 45 RPM edition. I'm doing my best to re, um, to find the records from my childhood as they get reissued or as I can afford them. Um, to, even Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill, I, I'm, I'm finally, you know, I'm, fi I'm finding that w when I go out uh, and, and online that's reasonably priced. It's doing everything in my power to, to uh, get back some of those records that meant a lot to me growing up, CDs rather. And, and this one was at the top of the pile. This is one of my favorite records of all time, not just for my childhood. Uh, I guess, I guess the uh, the trip itself was was really fun, and I had a lot of a lot of good times shopping for vinyl and being with family and uh, and and coming home to to more to, to even more records and to seeing friends and things like that. I had a really good day. I'm I'm rambling because I'm tired. Um, basically, that's it. Um, I'm blessed, very, very ecstatic. I have a lot of listening to do, a lot of cleaning to do, a lot of work to do. But uh, it's a labor of love, and uh, we all love this. So enjoy the music, and uh, thank you very much for watching this long, long video. Bye.